first. Wasn't there a shock return to the Dales last night? You? Your psycho husband's had me stuck in here for days. I can explain. Oh, what? How you kidnapped me off the streets and bundled me in the back of a van? I didn't see the highlights. I mean, you missed a few major details there. It's funny, that, isn't it? Well, what if you just tell me what is going on? Well, exactly. Danny Miller, who plays Aaron Dingle, of course, joins me now. How on earth did you manage to keep that a secret? Uh, well, I mean, I can't take the credit for it. Emma Dale <laughs> and the production team were, were um, uh, obsessed with the idea and I, I was just happy to be a part I of mean, it. I it's mean, like, it's, it's like you were a spy. Did you yeah. have a code name and everything? I did, yeah. We had we had names and stuff on the scripts and, and all that. So but it was no? no, no. It was but... a real shocker, wasn't it? Yeah. It really was. So you've been away for how long? It must be more than a year? Yeah, so yeah. I left uh, to have time off with Albert, of who's course. nearly two, uh, yeah. two in a couple of weeks. And, um, yeah, I had time off with, with him and then um, yeah. I'm a celebrity came in and stuff so uh two years really but i went back last year for the 50th i remember um, of course just for a short stint there to uh to go and be a part of the live story and mm. the, the dying story so yeah so it's, it's been two years but yeah it feels like i've never been away it's i amazing. know yeah. was it like that was it like the first day you, you go back it's like that's it I'm... yeah i mean it was a little bit like going back to school after summer holidays you know and you're right. kind of like a bit nervous and yeah. you want to find out what everyone's been doing lots of new faces and stuff so sure. it was it was really really nice and everyone made me feel very welcome again it's where you belong though yeah, yeah. and there's so much to this character i mean yeah. it must have been really good getting back under his skin again especially yeah. with this storyline yeah well yeah i mean it's nice they've kind of taken him back to his old roots which was just kind of like you know, angry and just sort of yeah. much more sort of interesting for, for me to play and sort of see it rough must or dark. Be, well. Yeah, so, really, yeah, and really, really good scripts. Yeah, yeah. Really the team good. There I mean, are great. Well, they are. Yeah. You know that. But when you get a storyline like that, it's it's fantastic. What about though the relationship with Chaz? Because that is fractured, isn't it? That's oh, a yeah. difficult one. Yeah, I mean, I think over the next week you'll kind of see lots of sort of does he ever get out of this barn you know mm. what's gonna happen if he does get out of the barn and particularly i think is is what's gonna happen with Chaz, which i think I is on tonight um, well we've got a sneaky preview oh lovely shall we have a look oh let's do that i think that. we should i needed you more than i've ever needed anyone and what did you do you pushed me away you pretty much packed me off back to italy so you and al could crack on in peace i don't know what to say aaron I... i'm so ashamed of myself i could deal with all the lies all the cheating. We've got used to that with you. But losing... Losing Liv... <sighs> losing Liv... <clears throat> I'll never be the same again. It's very powerful. Oh, yeah. yeah it's you... amazing working with Lucy. It's just like... We've just picked up from where we left off. Yeah. And she's, she's amazing, so, yeah. Well, that'll be interesting to see how that goes. Yeah. Now, look, you talked about baby Albert, but you've yeah. got two now. I do, yes. I'm very, very lucky. We, we both are, me and Steph, and they're both watching, so hello. Oh, um, it's wonderful. But, yeah, Steph's just amazing. You know, it makes, makes oh, my look. job a lot easier, just how amazing she is with them both. And I love the names you chose, though. Yeah. Albert is a fantastic name. And is it yeah. Edith? Edith, yeah. Edith, what a lovely name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a We're... proper... It's yeah. a proper name, if you know what I mean. It's like an old school name, I think. I which like is what, it. Which is what we kind of liked with Albert, and it sort of oh, fits well. Luke. Oh, he's so happy. Does yeah. he get on all right with his wee baby he, sister? Do you know what? He's amazing with her. He really is. He, if anything, he's probably too kind to her. Sometimes we have to just make sure that she, he, he, he likes to cuddle her, so he'll get his head right there. And she's sometimes a little bit like, what's going on? <laughs> so we'll have to just say, thank you. Well done, you know, like, encouraging to be nice. But it should be like he's wee toy. Yeah, yeah, but, he, so but the minute she's crying, you know, she starts crying, he's baby, 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 he runs upstairs and checks her out. He's amazing with her, really. Oh, he's just going to be the best big brother he will. ever. He will. Tell me this, though. This is a brilliant idea. Albert's bookshelf. Yes. This is yeah. fabulous. Tell me how that all came about. Well, it was an idea. Me and my good friend, Nigel Klukas, we've mm -hmm. started this sort of audio book thing for reading reading books for children effectively because Albert's always liked listening to books sure. um, and it, originally it was an idea of just sort of when I'm not there Steph can play it and it was a birthday present and then Nigel said to me why don't you release these they're yeah, great so of course. we've started releasing some audio books on Albert's bookshelf on Spotify and all these different sort of podcast levels so it's we're just like we can't believe the response it's in like 50 odd countries and that's brilliant Danny yeah. and anything that gets kids interested in books because they start yeah. listening to yeah. it and then they'll pick up the book and yeah. they'll do all that Follow isn't along. it the best thing yeah you know, reading books to your kids yeah it there's is, just yeah. something 
so, you know, because you get all the new ones that are coming out, yeah. then you can read them all the ones that you grew up yeah, with as yeah, a kid. Yeah. It's just... And you can play loads great. of different characters as well, which was the, the interesting thing for me, you know, doing all these voices mm. and uh, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's a oh, nice little project. It's fantastic. Now, look, we saw there, we were talking about um, Simon, you know, lovely Simon Gregson was yes. talking to our Tyler yes. about mental health and everything. And I know Simon's a good mate of yours. Yeah. You were both in... Well, you weren't in the jungle, you were in the Welsh castle. Castle, yeah. You are in the castle yeah. together, and I know you're very, very close. Yeah. And isn't it brilliant that he's doing that and, and just talking about how you feel? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I know Simon's a, a good friend, and um, we had such a, a great laugh in there as well, you know. But it, it, for me, it's... We, we kind of talked about it between us, yeah. me and Simon, and so it's kind of now becoming public, and it's the idea of just keeping talking and getting Britain talking and all that kind of stuff. I think it's a great idea and a great it passion is. project for everybody because I think it makes it, like he says in the VT, it makes it easier once you get talking. So. It really does. Now, yeah. as we said, you were in Wales. You know they do the, um, well, they did do it this year, the, the I'm a Celebrity Special, yes. and they did it in South Africa, which is nice and warm and lovely and gorgeous. Yeah. You'd be up for that, wouldn't you, next year? If, it, if yeah, I mean, you know, like yeah. it's, it's, I'm a massive fan of the show, so know. You know, it's a chance to do it again, but somewhere else would be great. Oh, so. it would be lovely. Yeah. We just I think have Gino to... De Campo said something. He said, well, you know, once once you won it, you'd be putting so much pressure on yourself. And I think I've always got that memory now, so yeah. I kind of agree with what he's what he's saying with it. But I'd, I'd definitely, you know, I'd oh. accept the call. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> uh, you, you know. Big producer type people, if you're watching. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's so good to see you. you. Really, you. I, I had no. It was a. It, it was. It's very difficult these days to keep something secret. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, all yeah. credit to you and everybody yeah, at Emmerdale. Absolutely, yeah. Because it was like, oh, like yeah. one of those. It's great to well, see you. And you. I Thank hope you. you're there for a very long time. So do I. And Emmerdale <laughs> continues with an hour-long special, of course, tonight. That's at seven o'clock on ITV One.